By the end of this video, you will be able to add measures to the music that you are creating in MuseScore 4. Let's get started. So I've got music that I'm working on in MuseScore. And in order to add measures to this piece, what you want to do is click on a measure. To select a measure, you want to make sure you're in selector mode and not in note input mode. So note input mode is the pencil icon on the top left hand side of your screen. So when it's blue, that means you're going to be inserting notes. So I actually want that turned off or toggled off. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now it will be in selector mode. You also could press N on your computer to turn that on and off. So again, I'm going to select this measure here. And let's say I want to add a measure before this. I'm going to go up to the top left hand side of your screen and go to add. And I'm going to click on measures. And then once I'm here, you can see I can insert a measure after the selection, before the selection, at the start of the score or at the end of the score. So I want this before the selection. And the shortcut for that is control insert. And when I click on that, it will ask me how many measures I would like to add. I just want one measure, so I'm going to press OK. And so you can see that a measure was added before the selection I had. If you'd like to undo anything, you can press Control-Z. So let's say I would like to add a picket measure to this piece. I can have a selection, go up to Add, and then go to Measures. And then I want to insert at the start of the score. So I'm going to do that. It will ask me how many measures. I'll press OK. And there's my pickup measure. And then the same thing for the end of the score. There is another location on here that you can add measures, and that is this plus icon on the top right hand side of your screen. So let's say I have a selection. I press that plus icon. Now I'm up here at measures, and you can see it has the same options we had before. So I want to add measures at the end of the score. So the shortcut for that would be Alt Shift B. If you're on a Mac, um, so like Control B or Control Insert, you can do Command Insert should be what's showing up there. So I want to insert measures at the end of the score. I'm going to click on that. It will ask me how many measures. Let's say I'd like to do something like 20 measures. I'll press OK. And now it's added those 20 measures at the end of the score. And you can see the selection that they created. In order to delete a measure, you might have noticed if you have the selection and then press delete on your keyboard, that only deletes the notes. So in order to delete a measure, what you're going to do is have to press Control Delete on your computer. And then that way it will delete the entire measure. Another way to delete the measure is to go ahead and have the selection right click on your mouse. And then you can see I have clear measures or delete measures. So if I press delete measures, that will delete the measures. If I press clear measures, that's just going to delete the notes, but not the measure. Again, if you'd like to review the keyboard shortcuts for measures, because that's most likely the way that you'll be able to add them the quickest, is you're going to press the plus icon, go to measures, and you can see all of the keyboard shortcuts here. So insert will be insert one measure before the selection. Control insert is insert measures before the selection. So insert's a really nice shortcut because when you press insert, it just adds that measure. So you, you can do that as quickly as you need to. So you now know how to add measures as well as delete measures from the music you're creating in MuseScore 4. If you've made it this far into the video, you most likely are interested in learning as much as you can on how to get started in MuseScore. I created a complete beginner's video on getting started in MuseScore so that you learn everything that this software has to offer. I'll put a link to that video here.